One of you here asked if pwede ba ang words na impact, effect, and factors in a qualitative research design. And I am gonna answer that today. Hey there researchers, I am Jean Castillo de Jesus, a public school teacher handling English and research subjects, and I will be your online research bestie. So to answer the question, if we can use impact or effect for qualitative research designs, no. The answer is no, because when we use the term or the words impact and effect in a research title, it is for quantitative research, specifically the predictive correlational. Again, impact and effect is only for predictive correlational, which is one of the types of quantitative research. In this research design, the predictor variable will identify if it has an impact or influence or effect in the criterion variable. For example, here is the research title of one of my research students in grade 12, Impact of Phone Usage on Sleeping Quality of Senior High School Students. The research design is predictive correlational and the predictor variable is phone usage and the criterion variable is sleeping quality. So basically, the aim of this research is to identify if the phone usage has an impact, effect, or influence on the sleeping quality of the senior high school students. So again, if you will use impact and effect or influence in the research title, it cannot be used for qualitative research. Instead, it will be for quantitative research, which is specifically the predictive correlational. And now, let us move forward to the other signal word, factors. Factor is only intended for descriptive research. Again, factors or determinants are for descriptive research. For me, this is the easiest type of quantitative research. However, all researches entail hard work and determination. Walang madaling research. If you are a newbie in conducting research, it's good to start with descriptive research. So basically, you only use the descriptive statistics like um, frequency, percentage, and weighted mean to quantify the results of the study. So if you want to learn more about crafting research titles for quantitative research design, I have a video lesson on that on my YouTube channel. I can provide the link in the comments below. And please also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about the nitty-gritty of research. If you have some questions, you may drop them in the comment section. And if I have time, I would do my best to answer all your queries.